What is conjugation in organic chemistry? Imagine you have a chain of atoms, each connected in a specific way that makes the whole molecule more stable and energetic. This is what happens in conjugation in organic chemistry. Conjugation involves the overlap of p orbitals across adjacent atoms, typically in a chain of single and double bonds. For this to happen, there need to be at least three p orbitals in a row that overlap or connect, and there must be delocalized electrons between these overlapping p orbitals. In simple terms, when you have alternating single and double bonds in a molecule, like in 1,3-butadiene, the p orbitals of the double bonds overlap. This overlap allows the electrons in the pi bonds to move freely across the molecule, a process called delocalization. This delocalization of electrons lowers the overall energy of the molecule and increases its stability. Conjugation isn't limited to just carbon atoms. Other atoms like nitrogen and oxygen can also be part of the conjugated system. For example, in furan, an oxygen atom with a lone pair contributes to the conjugation by overlapping its p orbital with the adjacent carbon atoms. Conjugated systems can include double bonds, triple bonds, or even lone pairs and radicals. The key is that each atom in the chain has an available p orbital that can overlap with the next one. This overlap forms an extended pi system, which is essential for the stability and unique properties of these molecules. In practical terms, conjugation is important because it allows molecules to participate in specific reactions like the Diels-Alder reaction, and it's a key feature in materials like graphene, conductive polymers, and carbon nanotubes. These materials have unique properties due to their extensive conjugated systems. So, conjugation in organic chemistry is all about how the overlap of p orbitals and the delocalization of electrons make molecules more stable and versatile.